Hi, I'm Matt Christine, and today we're testing and reviewing the Sunto Ambit 2S GPS watch. There are actually a couple different models of the Sunto Ambit 2 to choose from. There's the Ambit 2 and the 2S, which is what I'm testing. The main difference is the size. The 2S is slightly smaller, battery life, and also the Ambit 2 has a barometric sensor and a temperature sensor. But if you've actually got any heart rate strap that's Amp Plus compatible, it'll work with the watch. Same thing for bike pods, cadence sensors, stride sensors, things like that. As long as they're ant compatible, they will work with this watch. The Ambit is what I'd call a mid-size GPS watch. I've had some bigger ones and I've had some smaller ones, and there's always a trade-off between the size of the watch you have. I have remarkably small wrists, so this size watch is pretty much the maximum that I'm comfortable with and still able to run without any bouncing or annoyances. Interfacing it to the computer or for charging is quite simple. It's just a USB cable here with a little clip. Clip it on the side of the watch here, plug it in, and off you go charging it. Now obviously the main challenge in one of these watches is taking the time to learn how to use it. I've had it for a month now and I'm still learning new features and adding new things to it to get the most use out of it. In that sense it's very flexible and with software updates it's going to get only better with time I think. I think one of the most impressive features I've found with this particular watch is just how fast it can get satellite lock on when you have it outside. Let's take a closer look at the screen and some of the features. So this is the main watch screen interface. You've got the time and the date shown quite easily. And you can notice there are five buttons around the outside and there's how you access pretty much everything on this watch. Now if I want to access the main menu and access exercises, I just press the upper right button, say okay I want to do an exercise. What do I want to do? Let's do road running. So what it'll immediately start to do is look for heart rate belt, which I don't have on, so I'll say later. And then it's looking for GPS. Now obviously I'm indoors, so it's not really going to work, but you get the idea. And once it's found it, you're ready to go. And you've got your main screen. If you haven't moved your activities to your computer, all the recent activities are stored in your logbook. So here I can choose one. I'll take this one from last weekend where I did a road ride. So it's, like you can see there, 7 hours and 42 minutes of riding, which tells you the date. And then I can go screen by screen and it'll give me synopsis. So it tells me I did 170 kilometers. It tells me my average speed, heart rate information, all those sorts of things. So another feature I like in this watch is it actually has a built-in magnetic compass. Now, I've already calibrated here just to show you what happens. Once you have it set up, you can see I can turn the watch and wherever the watch is actually pointing, that's the bearing that it's reading off. So as you see, 200 and 200 degrees is that way, and the little arrow indicator on the bottom, that's where north is. Well, you've seen some of the features of the watch, but where things get really interesting is when you finally connect it up to your computer and connect to the internet and use the Moves Count website to control the watch and to set up a lot of the extra parameters. When you log into the main page, you're presented with your summary of your activities to date. It actually comes with built-in training programs, so you can come into their website and look at this page and select different training programs, such as a marathon training program, half marathon, ultra, that sort of thing. And probably the best part of it is actually the customization. I can add a whole slew of different activities to the watch, and I can choose to either have them in the display so I can select them, or not have them in the display. I can also go in and in very great detail, put in all of the display settings I want. So I have up to eight different screens of information that I can put on that watch, which I can cycle through when I'm training. And probably one of the coolest features, which sets it apart from some of the other watches out there, is they actually allow developers to create their own apps for the watch. So if you go into the Plan and Create App Zone, you can actually look at all kinds of apps that people created that you can actually use in your watch. One of the other settings you can change is the GPS recording interval. At one second interval, you'll get eight hours battery life, with a 60 second interval, you'll actually get 40 hours back. Well, you've seen a lot of what this watch now offers. There's obviously a lot more I couldn't cover, so please head to Sunto's website and learn more about the watch, or even check out movescount.com, which is all where all the activities are stored, to learn more. That's it for my review of the Sunto Ambit 2S. Now I gotta get back out there because there's a whole lot more training I've gotta do with my new training partner.